It was a dark and stormy night. Sheesh. Is it stuck On for you? A distant nope. corner of Pandora, where few men dare to tread. It is for me. With the journey to find minute. the elusive vault behind them, our fearless adventurers set off into the trees of. What's a tree? Oh, for the angel's sake! It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. <clears throat> so, they set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove, a land very much ravaged and forgotten by time. It was Still nothing. that the scientist Dr. Ney, dialogue. who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind. But ultimately caused very bad shit. That's a swear. Dude made zombies, okay? You're not the police of me. Pay attention. Okay. So some bad crap is happening. It got really spooky. And this is when our story begins. Is any of this going to be true? Yes. Probably a lot of it. You're adopted. Hello everybody, I am Daniel and he is Levy and apparently he is stuck. I am laughing at the dialogue and apparently that kid is adopted. Uh, are you, you're still stuck, aren't you? No. Okay, you were just... As soon as, soon as the dialogue stopped, I'm guessing. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah, that's, it was right. that, that's what I was assuming. Future note for all the other dialogue things. I'm over here! Welcoming committee, okay. Listen for a doggy potter? I am not affiliated with the Jacobs Corporation, but they packed me to tell people like you that they would appreciate some assistance with the overwhelming situation with the living impaired. I should warn you, though, that they'll suck your brain out of your cranial cavity like a frappuccino if you get too close. If you'd still like to help, I suggest you turn on the town's defenses. Otherwise, crappuccino. Toodles! <laughs> Toodles! Alright, so apparently we gotta, uh, turn on the town's defenses. Aha, I take this one bullet. Because that's all I need. And... Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it's over here. You just jumped down, didn't you? Oh, I fell. <laughs> All right, you fall, and I will jump on these giant wooden planks. And At least I don't hit every wall in the game. Holy crap, things are coming oh. out of the ground. Go away. Ooh, brains. Yeah, make sure you get headshots, please. All the zombies are yours. <laughs> Ow. Ew. Ew, I'm slowed down. Ew. They are immune to acid. Apparently. Try burning. You know, zombies, fire. Brains, brains, brains. Is something still spitting on me. Ew, it's still spitting on me. Icky. Ew, I picked up garbage. That's even scarier than the brains we're picking up. Ooh, a thingy with things inside. That's usually what happens whenever you shoot something. Huh, rear cross mod. Alright. It's actually pretty good. And this is... Checkpoint. Okay. Mm, bounce it. A claptrap running around. I'm guessing you're the first town defense. I see the next one. Oh, 
Best solution, hit all the zombies. Okay, okay, where is it? There it is. Turn on the turret. Good turret. Do turret things. I'll save you from the infected. Wait, are they infected? I, I can't tell. There's not enough dialogue. That was intense. I'm sure glad I'm not made of tasty flesh like you. The town should be safe for now. But if you're really going to solve the zombie infestation, you're gonna need to talk to Dr. Ned. He's been trying to fix the problem, and I'm sure he could use a hand. You'll find him at his office down on the docks. I'll open Whoa. the waterfront gate so you can be on your way. Let's go! Okie dokie, you heard the, um, hacked claptrap. Open sesame. No, oh, not the chest you're opening, the door. Really too bad that another poor adventurer up. is going to be zombie food. Thing. Why'd you get a special weapon and not me? I found it on the ground. You know the drill. Oh. And, oh, you know the drill. Enjoy your stay at Jacob's Go. Shoot stuff. All right. Oh, it's little bats. Little? Uh, oops. I think I pissed off the whole horde. Switch to the shotgun. Got them all. Oh god, no, 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 don't shoot me. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Damn birds. Go away. Where are, where are you? Ow. Not again. I can't... Okay. House of the Ned. Oh yeah, let, look at this, uh... Uh... Thing I grabbed. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Mine. Shiny. Fearless zombie killer. Indeed. New missions are available at the Jacobs Cove Bounty Board. All right, you get the missions. I will also get the missions. Meh. Mine's better. Something about them being Dr. a taxi Ned service. Gave me the following awards this year. Most effective plot trap in life-threatening situations, hottest performer of mid-80s breakdance fighting, master orator, and best kisser. Ew. <clears throat> that last one. <laughs> Just wow. Okay, then. Like, apparently, uh, the claptrap. Oh, uh, here, <gasps> Dr. Ned voted him the best kisser. <laughs> what? Yeah. I think we need better weapons. No, we're fine. Just gotta catch things on fire and blow shit up. Ew. Ew, the defiler slow me down. I keep going. It's like I'm almost moonwalking or something. I really hate the defilers. They were they're so annoying. As, they're almost as bad as that one thing from, um,. That other game franchise. You know the one. I don't. Left for dead? Alright, that's where the first jack-o'-lantern is. Oh, I'm probably gonna regret coming in here. Dialogue. Anna, I, I've been noticing some strange things in the mill of late. Many workers seem to be falling very ill. What is strange is that we all had our checkups just last week and were given a clean bill of health and a vitamin from the company's physician, Dr. Ned. He's doing everything in his power to convince some death. Do not worry. I will, as always, be careful. I'll send an echo again soon. All my love. Bring the pain. Oh yeah, bring the pain. Freaking birds. Oh my god, why are there so many? Oh. They're worse than Rax. We all know how I hate Rax. Oh. Stop! Ew. 
All right. No, no, no more defilers. Go away. All right. So this part of the quest is in a different section of the map. So I'll switch to the Echo one. Okay. I already found one of the echoes. Yeah, I heard. It's not that way. Really? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Level up point. All right, we gotta figure out where this echo is really quick. You looked on the map, didn't you? Huh? No, I'm following the mini map. There's a mini map? Yeah, it's a little northwest area thing when you go to let you know where bad guys are. I've arrived at Jacob's Cove, and you'll be pleased to know it seems a jolly and lively old town. I know being away from you and the children will be difficult, but it's only for a few cycles. The pay is just too generous to pass up. I'll work hard here and be back to you and the girls soon. My brother will take good care of you in the meantime. Love, Hank. Yep, I went the wrong way. Okay. Figures. <laughs> men in the sense of direction. Oh wait, I'm a man. Uh! I thought you were a woman. Oh, I'm brick. Ah, ah. I will hit things like you. So I'm gonna discover it. Outpost drop ship. Apparently, you discover the outpost drop ship. Here's okay. Cookie. <laughs> Yay, cookie. Oops. Come on, dialogue. Don't come on, zombies. Daniel does not like zombies. Behind you. Zombies, right? I don't see any though. It's like they all you don't, fit. huh? Oh, I think I found one. Psycho zombie. Dearest Anna. Shoot the, the barrel. Tough, but honest. Oh, the trees, Anna. The trees are amazing. You wouldn't believe your eyes. I've never seen anything like them. Sometimes I feel sad to cut them down. But it will all be worth it if I can get back to you with the money required for us to have a fresh start. I'm dreaming about a nice homestead of the doll headland. Think on it. Missing you, Hank. P.S. How sweet. Tell Sally that I love the hat she sent. I wear it every day. The men tease me a bit, but they don't know the joy that a child's love oh. can bring. Oh, the other one's all the way back at the beginning. I know where you're going. All right, you keep clearing this area. I'll go get that one. There's no such thing as clearing this area. All they do is spawn more. So kill as many as you can looking for the other echoes. I'm coming, Echo. Uh... So if I die here, do I become a zombie also? No. Oh. What do you Wait, mean, oh? Yeah, I, I guess that's kind of a good thing, actually. Uh -huh. A very good thing. Unless you want to be a zombie. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Alright, so the other one's up there. Things have gone from bad to worse. There have been rumors of people seeing the dead walk. At first, these tales were laughed off at the saloon, but, but now people talk in the hushed whispers of the truth. They say that those who come in contact with the dead are always the first to be ill and are, as such, the first to seek the help of Dr. Ned. The doctor assures me that he's making progress on a cure. I, for one, believe him, and it is only three more weeks till we are reunited. 
girls for me. Love, Hank. Something tells me this is not good. Something tells me this is going to be a very sad story. Go, oh, what? 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 There we are. Beloved Anna, it is no longer rumors. Some curse has been set upon us here at Jacob's Cove. The dead are rising from their graves and are ravenous with a hunger for flesh. All work has stopped, and we're fighting for our lives. But fear not. Dr. Ned believes there's a way to stop the horror. I have volunteered to allow him to test an antidote on me. <laughs> it's the skags, my dear. The filthy skags will be our salvation. The doctor says they're immune to the ailment. I'm presently on my way to get this treatment at the hospital outside of town. I know, I know it will be a success, and we will be together again shortly. Pray for me, Hank. And that's all the time we have for the first episode. I hope you all enjoyed the zombie island of Dr. Ned. <laughs>